Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So we've got a fitting video for the F-Wing for the F-56 from Orange Performance. So you can see laid out on the table now, we've got all the components we're gonna need to fit the video. And we've also got all the tools as well. So I'll walk you through this bit first, what you're gonna need up front. Then I'll construct the uh, spoiler in here, inside. Uh, if you hear any background noise, it's just we've got builders in at the moment, so apologies in advance for that. Then we'll go outside and get the car sorted. But one of the first things I would say when you're fitting this spoiler, you go out before you do any of this and wash the car. So it'll become obvious later in the video, but because we're gonna have stuff sitting on the glass, you're gonna wanna make sure that glass is super clean before you start to uh, draw any holes, etc. So make sure you go out and do that first and then call me back in and we'll get the uh, spoiler together. Okay, so let's zoom in on the table. So what tools do we need? Drill first, and the drill bit actually comes in the kit, so you don't even need to work out what the right drill bit size is. That comes in the kit. You've got a pen to be able to mark your boot lid for where you want to drill your holes. You've got your scissors, two Allen keys, and actually we do have one tool missing. Let me go grab it. Yep, so the other tool we have missing was the rib nut tool. So you can see that there. Let's move that aside. So you need that for attaching your spoiler sides to the car. So we'll obviously talk about how that works later. So your Allen keys, you've got a three mil and a four mil Allen key for two different size bolts, okay? So that's the tall side of it. Then you're gonna need a one spoiler from an F56. So that's an OEM part, so you can get that used. We talked about that in the unboxing video, but you basically need to get hold of one spoiler because the S or JCW spoiler will clash with the wing and won't work. So make sure you get hold of one of those because it doesn't come in the kit. You've got gaskets. You've got all the parts here, and we'll go through what each of them are. So you've got the spoiler side that has three washers and three bolts that go into there. You've got these here, that's your rivet nuts and your bolts to actually attach the wing to the car. They go into your boot lid, so there is some drilling on your car, but it's only minimal, two little holes. You've got the metal bracket that attaches using these three bolts here. Then you've got an adjustable side bracket, and for that, there should be two of these bolts here that go up in the underside of the wing through here. You've got this flathead one here that goes in. So it's countersunk. And then this screw one is the adjustable one for your adjustable side of the spoiler. So what we'll do, we'll walk you through building the wing first inside. Then we'll take you outside and fit it to the car and show you how to work out the holes. Okay, so when it comes to constructing the side, what I wanted to do is just show you one, other than the um, this going on, everything's done on this side. So three bolts up with washers. You've then got this one here, the countersunk one. And then you've also got the one that, for the adjustability bracket. So that's what it's gonna look like, but let me show you us doing that now. So let's move these ones out of the way because they're for use later. So we've got this bracket first to go on. So what you do, put your washer on, and we need to line the holes up. The easiest way for me is to put the bolt through the hole and tighten it by hand to start with, and do the same. Now what you can do is put it on the end of your Allen key, and do that, start doing those up. And all you wanna do is do it by hand. You don't wanna use power tools or anything. Do you want to cross thread, damage any of this? Because so this is all going up nice and easy. And we'll do our third one. Okay, so we'll do those up. Okay, and what you want to do with your bracket here is just make sure it's sat snug in that gap and you'll see once you've got the spoiler in your hand and then all I do is nip those up so they're nice and tight over tighten them but definitely nip those up one two hopefully you can see what I'm doing there it's just tightening these three up because this is the bit that wraps around your glass and become apparent when we get on to working on the car. 
Okay, so that's nice and stiff and in place. Then you've got your adjustable bracket. So let's drop the bolts out. So you've got two bolts and you can see this front one is the countersunk one. Now Orange recommend that you use a bit of Loctite on it um, and just put a dab of Loctite on the thread and do that up. So I'm gonna nip out and go and buy some. I don't have some to hand. But for now, just for the demonstration of the video, I'll do that. You can see you've got your adjustability because there's each of these holes go up. So there's that much adjustment, which is quite a lot. Okay, so once we've got this countersunk one in, we can decide what adjustability we want. We can do that off the car as well. I mean, while it's on the car, but we'll do just into the first hole for now. There you got to do, it's a little bit tricky. Let me come down, make sure my bolt hole is lined up. And this is where you're using the larger four mil. A little bit stiff. Just use that Allen key. Get that done up. Okay. Apart from the wobbly table, the bracket. It's now built in terms of the bracket. Now there's a couple of bits that we do need to do. So obviously we put our dab a lot tight on, do this up, make sure this is done all the way up. What we need to do is we've got our gaskets. So they're printed in terms of, or cut, should I say. So all you've got to do is have a pair of scissors, nip this little block out here. So that's for your wing. And the same on the other side. So all you're doing is taking this little square out. Take that, this little square out. You can see you've now got the two gaskets. That's just because these are all laser printed and it just nicely fits into the packaging to do that. And then again, for this one, just nip those joins at the bottom off to take that away. So that's that separated. Same at the top. Just take that square out that joins the two together. And now you've got your gaskets for your side and your gaskets for your adjuster. So we'll show you those next. Okay, so all this is nice and tight. So you've then got your gasket and all you need to do is match it up. You don't need to take the sticky off. You need to test that it's the right gasket that fits into there before you take the sticky off. And that is, that's the one. And what that does is when your wing goes into here, it gives you a nice snug fit, no rubbing or anything. So that's that's something you don't see with a lot of the aftermarket wings. It's nice to see Orange actually include these in the kit. So what you do, slot that in place, make sure it's in the right place, and then give it a good push down. And you could use your Allen key if you can't get your finger in, just to push down the top edge get that all stuck in place so that's now your gasket into there now we have a second gasket i've just got to work out which one's which because it's the first time i've ever done this because this is a new element specifically for this f-wing is that you have a gasket and what it does it runs up to the very top of the wing and comes all the way down here and all this does is it stops it rubbing against it's sort of plastic to glass. This little bit of foam just gives that nice finish. So I think this one's going to be a little bit of trickier to put in. So I just want to make sure that I've not done this one before. I'm super happy with how this goes in place. Yep, you can see it matches the curvature perfectly. Brilliant. So what we might need to do is nip a little bit off at the end once the gasket's in place. We use a, a craft knife or something, but we just double. Um, and what it does, it goes over the inside of this metal bracket as well. So this is the last thing you do is put these gaskets on. So if we peel backing off.
how nicely that fits. That's so easy to do. All you do, give it a good press down to make sure that's well stuck onto the back of that. Can you see there, it runs all the way along there. And we turn that up and all the way down inside there because that's a surface that will touch and sit on the glass. So that's again, a nice touch. You've got that. So that is the spoiler side built. So what I'm gonna do now is put my gaskets on this one that I built earlier and then I'll show you the wing. Okay, so if you look at the side here again, you've got the profile that just fits straight in. So you can't really get this wrong. All you've got to do is make sure it's pressed in and that your holes line up. If we give that a bit of a push, and what it helps is if you've got someone to hold the hand here and someone to hold the hand here as a second pair of hands. You can do it on your own. I'm attempting to do that now, but it does make it a lot easier. So I did the other side two of us holding it. It just helps those holes align. So I think what I would say, oh, I can possibly do that. There we go, we've got that first one in. Doing that on my own, so that's good. We'll nip that up and get it tight in a, in a moment. I just want to get this first, second one in. There we go. Because these are plastic and they've got the uh, the threaded sections mounted into the plastic, it's just a nicer experience than anyone that knows G-Wings of old where you have to send screws through the bottom of it and they'd have a little point on, you can do it. Now this is all controlled and a lot easier, much nicer experience. So Orange have learned from the past and improved every time they've done a new iteration. So we've nipped those up. Okay, so first thing we've got to do is remove this spoiler. So if you've got an S or a JCW, you've got to remove this. If you've got a one or a Cooper, you don't. So you keep hold of your one or your Cooper spoiler and leave that on. But this is only for people with an S or a JCW spoiler already attached to the car. What you do, open the boot up. And it's just this piece here. So you pull sort of down. You, can, you feel it sort of unclip from on the spoiler there you go and that's off do that both sides okay so removing that uncovers this what looks like a an eight mil bolt what we'll do though is we're going to open the boot we'll do this last just because it's on the outside so it's easiest we'll do the bolts from the inside which if i remember rightly you pry these caps off Okay, so if we pry these caps off, there's some Torx head screws all the way along. Five in here. Okay, so in each of these five holes that I've just uncovered, there's a Torx bit, so what's this? T20. I'm going to use a magnet as well, just in case you don't want to drop. Just be really careful. You don't want to drop that screw into the boot lid. You might be able to fish it out with the magnet, but I'd rather magnetize as much as I can the screwdriver. And bring that out. And that's what you're trying to remove. You need to keep these because you'll reuse these on your Cooper spoiler if it didn't come with them. Three. If you do drop it in, you can get your magnet in and get that. It's just this bit's double skinned, so these end ones where you want to be really careful that you don't drop it in. I'm not sure I understand. Siri, we didn't ask you. Okay, so we've got those five bolts along there. Let's do this little eight mil off. So, there's one on each side, so just take both eight mils out, just like this. 
That's the two eight mils out. Okay, so once you've got those two in bolts out and the five screws underneath, double check. Definitely got all five. Yep. You've got a pull. Now there's clips along the spoiler holding it in place. So you've literally got to firmly pull it on it. There you go. And off it comes. Okay, now you've got to replace it with a spoiler and because it's OEM, we should have literally no trouble. So just looking how it goes on, pushes on like that. And we need to put the eight mils back in here. Grab that. Okay, and then open the boot up. Right, I'm gonna take no chances. I've got a stronger magnet this time. So hopefully, get these in and done up okay so technically we've unmodified our car now we've got rid of that nice jcw spoiler and we've got one instead so you can see it's a lot lower in profile which is what's going to work make it work with the spoiler so the, the f wing so we don't need to put those caps on because the F-Wing actually covers these. So what I'm gonna do now is go and grab the F-Wing we built earlier. So we need to put it on the car, mark up the holes on either side to drill them. Okay, so it's a two-man job to put this on safely. So I've done it off camera, but I've put blankets up here. So open the boot and slide it on over the edges. So we're nice and neat and on the car. Now, there's no real choice like you had with the G-Wing in terms of height. You literally put it as high as you can go and then you need to mark where you need to drill the holes. So what you want to do is press that as high as you can. So touching this, it'll be just against that depending on which spoiler you've got. But that looks already super neat. So I just want to make sure I get the holes drilled correctly. You don't put any pressure on any of the brackets or anything. So I'm going to basically open the boot lid up now, hold it to the top and mark with a pen. Right, so thinking about it, I shouldn't need anyone. So if I open this up, all I've got to make sure is that this is this side is pressed right against the top. You push it right up as high as it will go. And then mark the hole right in the middle there and then we're going to go the other side and do the same thing just again i press all the way down okay so what you want to do is use a center punch on those holes i found this on the web don't care siri and that center punch just stops your drill bit from moving in and around the piece of metal Okay, now we've got the scary job of drilling the car. So just make sure you drill a bit centered on that hole punch. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just get a file on this to get rid of the burr and then touch up the bare metal with some just some paint I've got to hand just so that we don't get any issues with rust. Okay, so I'm just touching up that bare metal edge with some volcanic orange paint that I've got lying around. Just reduces the chance of any sort of rust or anything. Then you've got the riven up tool. And what happens is this goes into here and this bit crushes and hooks onto the back of the metal. So what you do is just put that all the way on. And then all you've got to do is try and work your angles. You push that in and squeeze. It went a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna. I think my tool has seized a little bit over the winter. So what I'm gonna do, just spray some WD-40 on this and get this and what all you do 
twist that out and it comes out and you've got your nice bolt hole. Right, so I think it might have been user error. I think you squeeze that in. Yeah. And then undo this. And the thread in the tool then starts to come out. So this locks it in place so it doesn't spin. Ignore the gloves. It's just, it's quite hard on the hands. There we go. Perfect. So we're gonna do the second one. Okay, so probably a two-man job to just put the wing on. So we've got all four of these rivet nuts now in place. So all we need to do. I didn't get that. Could you try? Sorry about that, Siri. So he's hooked that spoiler over the glass, and we're just going to go and do the same on the other side. There you go, but once you've got one in, it should be pretty simple. Let's leave it loose so we've got a bit of room for the manoeuvre with this side. It's a bit tight to get them first started, but once they're in, so what I'm going to do, leave these loose, go and do the other side, and then I'll come back and tighten these up. Okay, so if you see now, we've done those bolts up nice and tight, so that's all held in place it's done the same the other side and now you can see as we close the boot that fits really nicely now we do have just a crop across the top here this is touching this now i've spoke to our inge and actually if you can try and get hold of a mini one spoiler rather than a cooper just to stop this touching now i'm not too bothered but i think best advice would be to get hold of a mini one spoiler if you can apparently it's slightly shorter and this and finishes sort of here so i'll add that in earlier in the video okay so you can see the wing is now in place so you come from the back that definitely adds a lot of shape up top i felt the f56 is quite bottom heavy i think that really works really well with the line of the car and then if you come to the side here see that side profile that really sticks out and what i'll do i'll try and get some good photos of the car now one of the things I have spoke to Orange about is the Cooper spoiler that I fitted to mine. So I think you probably need a mini one because I think that's a little bit shorter because it does touch here. So my advice would be to get hold of a mini one spoiler rather than a Cooper. So we'll make sure that I feed that back to Orange and they get that into the instructions. But this is obviously the fitting video that I'll probably use and share with everyone. So you can see there, we probably need a mini one spoiler but I think it flows well for now. It just needs a bit of a wipe over. you got all my greasy fingerprints on it. But I think what I'm going to do, give it a bit of a clean, and then we'll get some nice photos of it. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna 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 be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step. At a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. So if you found today's video useful please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get alerts every time we upload new content so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video